Okay, so we have a question for number 17 from section 1.4. This is on page 126 of your text, and this is from uh, Applications of Quadratic Equations. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. Um, if you want to, or I would actually strongly suggest, you go ahead and grab your book. So um, go ahead and pause the video if you need to. But for number 17, a manufacturer of television sets received an order for sets with a 46-inch screen measured along the diagonal, as shown in the illustration. If the televisions are 17 and 1 half inches wider than they are high, find the dimensions of the screen to the nearest tenth of an inch. So again, with this, I'm going to go ahead and draw out that TV. That looks like a TV, right? Uh-huh, okay. And we know that they measure the size of the TV by measuring the diagonal. So that's going to be denoted by the red line. And we know that that's 46 inches. Something else that we know. We know that the base of this television is 17 and 1 half inches more than the height. So the, the natural question that kind of comes up is, all right, what's the height then? Well, again, if you kind of pour through or quickly skim through the problem again, you note that they neglect to give you what the height measurement is. So we have to use this mystery x value. And again, if you know that the base of this TV is going to be 17 and 1 half inches more, you are basically going to take the height and add 17 and 1 half inches to that. More implies addition. So hopefully what you're kind of seeing here is we have a triangle that we've kind of set up here. And naturally then, some what you could kind of think of is Pythagorean theorem. So just as a refresher, we'll say that this is the leg squared plus the leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take what information we have and we're just going to drop it in. Okay, so we know that the hypotenuse is going to be 46 inches. We know that one of the legs is going to be x plus 7.5 squared, or sorry, 17.5 squared. And then we know that the other leg is going to be x. So we have this situation, and we want to make sure that that 46 is also squared. Okay, so from here, uh, we want to do a little bit of an aside. So I want to stress the importance here that if you have x plus 17.5 squared, this is going to be equal to x plus 17.5 times x plus 17.5. So you are going to have to do some sort of foiling. A common error that I will usually see on work is when an individual sees x plus 17.5 squared, they just want to distribute that exponent to each of the terms on the inside of the binomial. And this unfortunately is incorrect. What you're doing is you're actually missing um, a major part of the number. So you do want to make sure that you are foiling this out. So I'm not going to spend time actually working this part out. What I would suggest doing right now is to pause the video and work that part out for yourself and then come back. I'm going to go ahead now and do a little bit more work with uh, what we have set up here. So can't do much with x squared, so I'm just going to write that there. If you FOIL out this x plus 17.5 squared, we're going to get x squared plus 35x plus 306.25 is equal to 2116. From here, what I would suggest doing is you want to subtract 216 from both sides. Okay, In order to really start to set up this quadratic, you want to go ahead and uh, start isolating everything and get this polynomial or this quadratic equal to zero. Also note that you have like terms over here. You would have 2x squared, so this becomes 2x squared plus 35x minus 1,809.75 equals 0. So before you go ahead and start solving this, what I would suggest doing is make sure 
that one, you have this set equal to zero, and you have your polynomial listed in descending order. Okay. So from here, what I would suggest doing is default to your calculator to help you out here. So use your calculator, use that program for um, solving quadratics. And if you use the calculator here, you're going to find that x will be either equal to 200, or sorry, not 200, 22.6 or negative 40.1. So do a quick smell test here and kind of ask yourself, OK, I'm solving for this variable x, which is referring to the height of this television. Does it make sense that I could have a measurement of negative 40.1? Hopefully you're kind of saying to yourself no, or maybe you've said it out loud, and if someone else is in the room, they're kind of looking at you funny now. So what I would suggest is this is dead to you, this can't be possible, so just strike it from your mind or strike it from your paper. So that leaves only this as our potential solution. So we know that the height of the TV is equal to X, which is equal to 22.6 inches. Okay, from here we can figure out the width. We know that the width is whatever the height is plus an additional 17.5 inches. That's going to be 22.6 plus 17.5 inches, or it's equal to 40.1 inches. Okay, so this is the solution. Um, hopefully, you were taking notes as you were going through. If you didn't, what I would suggest doing is taking a step back, taking a break from the problem, and trying to solve it again. Okay, if you need to, play the video along with it and take notes. All right, so good luck. Thanks.